Hey all you crafty people. Well, um, we are here today to talk about the August challenge for my Facebook group, but I'll put this out to everybody. I had our Facebook group in July uh, spend that one month. Anything that came in the mail that was free, anything that you found on the street, uh, anything that you got from the grocery store that, you know, you could get pamphlets, uh, anything that was free, collect it all for one month. And then the in August, this month, um, we are going to see how we can make an absolutely free junk journal. And it's just from what you get. Now, you can't have somebody send you something and say, oh, it was free. Um, you know, if you, if you do buy something and the shipping container is free, the brown paper maybe that's wrapped up in whatever it is you bought is free. Uh, you know, so it was, you know, hopefully looking at things and going, okay, I can turn this into, into something usable. Okay, so um, I went ahead and I, I first I will show you. I don't know what that's in there for. That was not free. Okay, so a um, pair of socks. My husband got this little thing. Uh, bought this off of a pillow, but the back of it is white. So um, this is a tear here to open. I thought, well, that would be kind of cute, you know, to have every once in a while tear here to open, but not really tear it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you could. Um, this was around something that we bought. I don't remember, but it's just a piece of that paper ribbon, but it was free. Uh, here is the other piece that I got off of my um, pillow that I got, uh, Place in Time, so I can't remember, uh, Joann's, okay, um, let's see what else, okay, my husband, uh, had a bottle of whiskey, and I saw that it looked like I could peel this off, so I peeled it off, so there's a cool buffalo, I, I just peeled it off the bottle, so, you know, the thing was is to use your imagination and see what you could come up with. Um, this was peeled off the bottle as well, and I put it on this piece of um, backing because it's still kind of sticky. So Buffalo Trace was the name of the whiskey. But again, it's it was free. It was free. Okay, so let's pull the bulk of this out now. And then, of course, I finished some cereal. So we are, we're good with that. So I've anything that had, you know, just minimal printing on it, this page is intentionally left blank, you know, anything like that. There's, I lucked out and got these from the National Arbor Society. So there's some nice little postcards. This was a thank you for um, purchasing something. Um, this was just a flyer, but it you know it had some little things on it, and I thought, well, you know, stick that in there. Uh, this is from my husband's car show, but it is um, white on this side and. It's a little thicker, a little more oomph to it. Uh, again, just some papers. Here was some um, from the tree uh, book, tree book, uh, Arbor Day. I give them some money once, and you know, then you get you get stuff for life. Uh, oh, here's off a travel mug, but again, that would make a nice belly band. You know, so there we go. So, I and I, I don't remember what I bought, but they sent them to me in these little bags. Feels like there's something else in here. Oh yeah, that was the rest of my little thank you gift. Thanks so much. 
So hello there and another little baggie. So that was all free. And that's some grid paper. I thought that was cool. Uh, bags, another travel mug, some envelopes, a bigger envelope. Oh no, no, this is brown paper. Um, bigger bag, smaller bags. So yeah, and just um, I got a little thank you note. There we go. This came off the socks, I believe. Um, I, I'm not sure why I stuck that in there, but I did. Um, oh yeah, and I got these from another, uh, well this is Arbor Day, so I don't know what the other one was, but you know, you get two or three things a, a month. Um, we were about to throw away some things, and I pulled one of the tags off. These are some things we bought new and I got tags on them. I got these with those cards. Here's some a lotion box. I got this with a gift. I got this as a gift. This is St. Jude's but it's cute. That was the envelope it came in. You know, so there. How exciting was that, right? Okay, so we've got envelopes and of course the they're sealed I don't I guess I don't know I don't know how that happened but they're sealed so now I have sealed envelopes um, I've got cards so I'm probably going to make it about this size uh, Put all these things off to the side. There's another page off to the side. Um, that's a page. All of these will be pages. These will be pages. This doesn't really have any usable space anywhere, so I'm actually just going to throw that away. Um, and I'm not going to... I don't know about this. Um, now, the other thing that I was going to tell everybody was uh, that we were going to have a few things for our journal that, that we could use that was going to be, um, you know, it's not, it's not going to add to our cost. So that's envelope. That's that. More pages, more pages, more pages, more pages, pages. I don't think there was anything in there, but picture quality stuff. Um, and I don't know that I'm going to use all of this, because as I'm going through here, there is there is quite a bit. Okay, so here we go. Um and then I have the string and some of those little things for tags and such. Now, um, what you can what you can use is you can use glue. Okay, so you will be able to have glue to use whatever form. If you use glue stick, white glue, what whatever glue you use, that's all. That's all. You know, you gotta you gotta have a way to put things together. And then, of course, you can use your needle and thread. Um, uh, it's it's something you already have, and uh, you know the amount that you use is is minuscule. So it's not you know it's not going to really add a price because you already have it. Um, and then the only other thing that you know, I was thinking was if you wanted to use some ink because ink, what you will use probably won't dry out your ink and so you're really not going to have to replace what you use but, you know, that's up to you. Um, I'm just going to put this together and see what I can come up with. Um, 
and uh, you know I don't know we're just gonna see we're just gonna see here I want to get this let's see what size we're making this so I will be able to fold up a good bit of that yeah let's fold up a little bit more there we go so you can do whatever you want with your bags that way it's not and then I think I'm just going to, well, yeah, just going to cut this part off. Okay, so that I'm going to throw away. So when this gets folded around this, they will be two nice pockets plus you have a pocket here. So that's that's good. Um, I've got quite a few of these. Uh, so this one is in really good shape. And that one's in really good shape and that one's in better shape. I think I'll save these just to see um, I thought I would do two signatures, so I really only need, well, let me put two of these in. Let's see which is the best. The best. Here. This one. All right. So we got that. And probably going to just fold these in half, but I think I'll do something a little different with them. But. There we go. And then this, let's see, if I fold it this way, let's cut off some of this rough stuff. Again, I'm just, I could use a ruler. I'm not worried too much about getting it straight, straight. There we go. Cross that. Now, oops. There. Okay. Now, some of this, let's go ahead and slice this this way. Um, I believe I did get another piece of brown paper in see I did mine in the month of July because I had my surgery in August and I knew uh, well I no what did I do I don't remember now <laughs> well I tell you what all this medicine and the and uh, uh, um, the stuff that makes you go to sleep during the during the surgery, whatever that stuff's called. It really screws with your mind. Really, really, really screws with your mind. Okay, so let's just take one of these and get ourselves an idea. I'm going to fold that so I know where to cut. Okay. Alright, now this one, it's not really a whole page, 
so I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to leave this over here so that I can cover up some of the pieces. Um, and I think I'll do the same with that. So I think this will still give me two pages. Let's see. I can get one of these and fold this over. I'll just give this a cut. So I'm going to be very interested in seeing what everybody else has pulled or if you out there in YouTube land want to do this with us. Um, you know, super fun. Uh, and, and it's almost exciting to see what you got in the mail. You know, you're like, oh, what did I get today? Let me see it all. Where's the junk mail? I want the junk mail, <laughs> you know. Uh, although some of these uh, white pages that I've got, um, you know, I got from from different things. So, uh, so all of this. See, I think I can, I think I can pull this. I don't know. It's pretty ripped. We'll just leave that and leave this because I think we will need that for other things. But that will just mix it up a little bit more for us. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, see what I was thinking on this is I could just put the two of these together. And then I would have one sheet. And so this is where a glue stick might come in handy. So if you have a page, there we go. I think I've got that all fixed up. If you have a page that doesn't have anything on the back, what's got on the front, just glue two of them together. Voila! There we go. Wonderful. Alright, and then we're going to get our size. I think my husband's back. Fold this over. Make sure it's nice and straight. What the heck, right? And then again, this, the rest of this that you're not going to be using. Let's see, let's, is this part going to be more? Huh. Okay. So the rest of this part that you're not going to be using, again, can be used to cover some of the tags and things that we've come across. So that we'll have more writing space. So nothing will go to waste. And just think of all the stuff we're keeping out of the landfills. Now this is how true junk journaling got started. Okay. Um, then, then you have journaling where, uh, you know, if you're making journals, you're not really using... You're using things that you're buying off the internet, you know, digital kits and things such as that, and you're not really using, uh, there we go, uh, you know, you're not really using too much in the way of junk. I mean, I think some people, they, there's a difference between ephemera, which is usually, um, you know, nice, pretty things that, uh, you know, that are just existing in the moment kind of stuff. Um, there, there's some people that, that say, you know, if you're printing out ephemera, it's not really ephemera. 
<laughs> because ephemera is just, it's that one thing. This, you know, this is a piece of ephemera. But if I made a ton of them, it's not really ephemera anymore. I don't know. I, I think that is kind of silly. But, you know, what are you going to do? Everybody wants to use what they want to use. And if it's something that they see out there, they're going to buy it. I don't have a problem with that. But true junk journaling is not buying anything. It's just utilizing what comes in your mail and, you know, things such as that. So that's, uh, you know, that's where we're, that's where I think people get confused between when you're making journals and when you're making junk journals from junk mail. That's where it that start from. And uh, so, because I think some people call themselves junk journalers, but they're not really using junk. <laughs> so I think some people just get confused. But junk journaling is, I guess, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. Like it, It's, it's kind of like art. There's no really right way or wrong way to do it. I call myself a journal maker. I don't call myself a junk journal maker, but, you know, I think it's all semantics. <laughs> okay, and then this page I thought would be kind of cool, just for something different. Um, I did want to just make it the size, but I think I'll glue another sheet to it first. Let's see, I think I, I have more papers. Oh, well, how would that be? Now, let's let's skip that and do it. Come on. Your two pieces. Okay, so let's glue this. So, I hope everybody's been doing well. And I hope you're having fun in your craft room as often as possible. <laughs> I, uh, I just, I got a spurt of energy and I thought I'm going to go and try and do this because I've had several people ask me, hey, you know, are we getting ready to do this? And I said, please be patient with me. I am trying. I am certainly trying, but all of you guys have been so wonderful. I want to thank all of you very much. Okay. So now that's there. And now I'm going to cut... If you have a longer pair of scissors, this would go faster. But I'm spread out all around my house, so... Okay. So, uh, one thing that I'm really interested, I think I started to say it and then I got sidetracked. I want to see what everybody comes up with. You know, where your mind went to when you said, okay, free stuff. I'm really interested in, in hearing about the, the most unusual things or, you know, how you came across something. Um, yeah, you know, like when you go to the grocery store asking for the paper instead of plastic. Totally good idea. Did I do that? No. Well, but my husband does the grocery shopping, so I didn't want to ask him to do that. You know, that he probably would have, no problem, but I, to be honest with you, I just kept forgetting. Uh, just kept forgetting. Now that little piece I'm going to throw away. And let's see now. So I'm not going to cut too much of this off. Nope. That's going to be good right there. Just cut a little off of here. And I think junk journaling when things are ratty and not all the same, I think it looks, it gives it that character that you're looking for. Okay, so now I can do that again. Let's see, what are we going to do with these? These are a good size, both of them. So 
probably just going to fold these in half and use them as pages, right? One on in each one. Oh yeah, I've got these things in here. Is that it? Yeah. So one on each. So those would be pretty. I hate actually using them in this, but... <laughs> Oh, okay, so there's the other gray one, which I was excited to get. I don't remember what company that was from. Oh, Meta Impact, so oh, whatever that is. It was some junk mail. Alrighty, and hopefully none of this stuff that I'm turning up has got any information on it or anything. <laughs> I never thought of that. Never thought of that. Okay, so let's get this down. It doesn't have to be super straight because you're going to cut the white part off anyway. I got some on the page off of my fingers. I'm not a huge glue stick uh, fan, but it works for this very well. Ah. I love this grid. This is going to look very cool. And I think one of the envelopes I have had some nice uh, grid type stuff in it. And that page intentionally left uh, for privacy is going to be in the center so that really won't get seen. There we go throw this away and then I'm thinking that's probably enough fold this yep and then Alright, so there's that. Now that can go there. Let's see what else I have. That can go there. Now this is a very pretty envelope. Pretty color to it and stuff. Got I can do that down. Why don't we do this? that. And that. I'm going to glue this down. this intact but I want to put this on two different on you know have two different ones so I think I'm going to cut right across here there so I'll have two and these that can be belly bands uh, this can be pretty much anything. Um, I could use it for the inside covers. I don't know what we're going to use that for yet. Um, I think these things will be cut out and used as pretties. 
I don't know if I need much more. Um, let's see. Another belly band. And these are just all envelopes and pieces of paper. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and let's see how big we've got this now. So there's for one. That is just a plain piece, a bag, a bag and a plain piece. The, uh, yeah, that stuff, the grid line. Um, there's one of our brown paper sack or brown, brown paper. And then we have cards. And let's see. And then we have a card and a card. And then do I have anything? Oh, here we go. And then we'll do that. So those these smaller cards and larger cards. And then we have four envelopes. We have two of these. And if I were to cut this in half, where's my scissors? There they are. If I were to cut this in half, I won't have a big pocket anymore. But, Here's the fold. But I will have two white pages with a pocket. Here's the fold. Two white pages with a pocket. All right. So that's going to make a nice, I don't know why this one, this one looks thicker. Why? Hmm. It's the same stuff in it. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's because this one isn't as, uh, as tightly done this, that there. Okay. All right, so there are my two signatures, guys. And my spurt has gone. So <laughs> uh, we will start, you know, putting uh, things in. Let's see, I want to put... What do I want in the center? You know, figure out what you want in the center. Oh, I love that. This is kind of fallish stuff, isn't it? So, center. I think I'll put my bag. Card. Let's get one of the, just the plain white one. Oh, one of the envelopes. Gonna have to do something with this envelope, though. Um... Because I don't, I don't have the, the, uh, they, they got sealed and it's aggravating the heck out of me. Okay, so I'm going to just cut an opening. So now there's an opening. I'm going to I hope I'm in. I'm going to cut a little thing like this. Let's glue down. There. Oh, my glue is exploding. There we go. Okay. So, this way when it's folded, 
and we have pockets, we'll be able to hopefully get in there a little easier because they're going to be kind of small. So there's that. And then I want one of my sheets. Let's just get the plain one. Here we go. Oops. Okay. And then let's do brown paper. Let's do the white paper. Let's do another card. Now let's do the little the little guy here. Pretty, pretty. And let's have one of these. Let's have, let's see, do I want to put that? I think I'll put that as my outside piece. So here's this. Um, here's this. I don't know that I want another one of those envelopes because I just don't think they're going to do too much. And I don't have the flap. The flap is just... Oh, wait a minute. This one will open. Yay. Okay. So this I'm going to put like this. And... then I'm going to put that like that and then when it folds over okay so I want to put it like this when it folds over you can lift this up fill the bag up close it so you can put secret messages in there so let's glue that down did y'all see what I was doing here is the envelope I'm putting it to the back or you can put it to the front, doesn't matter. And then I'm taking my bag that's folded in half and I'm going to the back side where the top will flip up and everything is this way. So I'm going to glue this down. And then the rest of the envelope you can either leave, you can cut it down, whatever you feel like doing. I think for right now I'll leave it. If it bothers me later on, I'll cut it down. And then I will have my outside piece. So there is my signature. And this one, let's see, I want this card on the outside. I see they got some water damage to them I guess in transit so this will be my inside with my bag okay and then I'll do my white sheet I will do my colored pretty colored thing um, white now let's do the brown paper. Let's do ah, pretty card. It's a pretty card too. White sheet. All right, here we go. I knew I was missing something. Here. Let's do the same thing. Let's see. Can I get one of these to unstick? Not that one. Come on, baby. Come on, I need you to unstick for me. Oh, poo, I don't know where my... Ugh! Got one of them, and I don't guess... Oh, here we go. Just go for it, Lisa. There we go. Yay! Okay, so I got one I'm going to cut. I'm going to fold it in half.
and I'm going to cut it like that and we're just going to fold these little pieces back and we don't want to fold we don't want to close our pockets so make sure you don't have anything coming through And I think the other thing that we ought to do is definitely cut the top. So I'll have to go back and do that to the other one. There. So now it's going to be much easier to get in and out of. So there's a pocket. And... Here is my white sheet. Whoops. And let's see. Okay, so we're going to do this next. And again, I want this to open. So I'm putting the back, the, the part away from the flap, but the bottom of the bag down towards me. Maybe that will help so you know what I'm doing here. And then we're going to put on enough glue that that flap will stick down. Because that's the only thing holding it in our book. There we go. And I think this time I'm going to fold this this way. And then our outside piece. Alright guys, so I have got my two signatures. I hope that you guys are having fun with this. Seeing what you can do. I mean, if you, if you want to, get your stamps out, get your ink out. But, I think at first, let's just see what it turns out to be totally free. Then you can go back and add something to it, you know. You can go back and add your lace or your whatever. But why don't we just see what it is going to be totally free. So I have my two totally free and it's cute and there's a lot of writing space. And then there's some fun things in there too. So lots of fun, lots of fun. All right, guys, I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for all your well wishes. It's much appreciated, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.